Hello ladies, it is Monday night, November the 30th, and if you're getting this video, it's because you have set a goal in the month of December, and we are going to make it happen. We're going to make those goals happen in December. So what I'm going to share with you tonight is something you've got to be sold out on, and I surely to God hope after I read this to you, you're going to be sold out on washing your face, because our number one goal as beauty consultants is to educate people on why they should wash their face with us. Yes, wash their face with us, with Mary Kay. So number one, do you, are you on a skincare system, not a cleanser, a skincare system, repair, time-wise, clear-proof, botanicals, is the man in your life on MK Men skincare? We've got to know the benefits because we are washing our face, okay? So I'm going to share with you tonight the six deadly sins of going to bed with your makeup on, okay? This is from goodhousekeeping.com. Yes, I changed the title a little bit because um, my way sounds better. Six deadly sins of going to bed with your makeup on. All right, number one, you'll break out, okay? If you don't cleanse your face, dirt and dead skin cells are not removed. In case you're going to break out, not good. Number two, your complexion will appear dull. When you get up in the morning after you hadn't washed your face, your skin looks like crap, okay? Because it's got everything built up and matted up against your face laying on the pillow all night. That's just plain old nasty. Okay? All right, number three, deadly sin. Your skin will look older and you'll have more wrinkles. That's because your skin is an organ. It's the largest organ of your body. So it's got to breathe. It can't breathe if you're going to bed with your makeup on. Okay? All right, number four, if you have acne, you might make it worse. Uh, that is a 100% or a 150% truth. Okay? You are going to have more acne or some acne if you never had it to start with. Okay? Um, let's see, you, number five, you could put yourself at risk for an infection by not cleaning your skin. That's another one of those gross ones, like the dull skin. And number six, <clears throat> six excuse me, you could definitely develop a rash because there are irritants, okay, in the environment that you're not washing off. Okay, those with rosacea or sensitive skin are especially susceptible to developing a rash if they are not washing their face. Okay, so you've set a goal um, this month, all right? And the way to have a healthy business in Mary Kay is to have lots of people washing their face with you every night because skincare is the bottom line of our business, all right? So we want to have those people washing their face every night. We want them to understand the importance of good skincare. They reorder it. They can't buy good skincare at Walmart, Ulta, Sephora. They can buy an eyeliner at any of those places, okay? So number one, are you on a skincare system and how many people can you tell that the six deadly sins of not washing your face and be convincing about it? That's all we do, y'all. We sell skincare. I sell lots of color too, but boy, the, the meat and potatoes or the foundation of my business is selling skin care. I want you to analyze that. You learn those six facts. And my challenge to you in the next 24 hours is to share the six deadly sins of not washing your face with 10 people. What a great booking idea, right? Book them to see how good their face will feel. That's what the Glow and Tell Challenge is about. Got to talk about it. Got to meet people. Got to love it. What a great thing for husbands to give girlfriends, wives, moms for Christmas. A skincare set. Oh, there's another great idea. So, you're going to be hearing from me five out of seven days a week till your goal is met. Love you all. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Bye-bye.